So, we've got two large strips. Let's get them open. So, here's me opening up my large strips that I got from Amazon. Um, there's a link in the description of where you can buy these. Uh, I've got them for a pretty decent price. Uh, they're always changing in price, so keep a lookout for offers. But power pack, power cord, and light strips in the box, and obviously the instructions and guide. All right, so as you can see, dive straight in. Um, I've gone with putting light strips at the top and the bottom of the TV. I just think here it will give a better aesthetic than a left and right look, although obviously it's completely up to you, however, which way you want to apply it. Um, I dive straight in and forgot to clean the back of my TV. I'd advise doing that first. Um, yeah, just simply use a damp cloth for me, but you can use a microfiber or similar. So, as this is a 65 inch TV, uh, obviously I have to use two light strips, and both of those need to be individually powered. I've also installed this on a 55 inch TV with a 2 meter light strip and the 1 meter extension. That only requires you know, one power cord um, and, and PowerPoint, where this needed two. So, I'll just show you guys. Um, I had a lot of my TV inputs are here, right? So that's why I've kind of avoided them and come down here and I'm going to take it down here to avoid all of those. Um, everyone's TV will be different at the back so it's worthwhile just checking the best setup for yourself. I'll also show you how I've done the corners. So I've just done the corners by doing a kind of pinch here. That's how I get a right angle. I mean, it's probably not the best way to do it, but hey it works um i read online that you can get some kind of like corner pieces here and cut this and stuff like that i wasn't really going to be doing any cutting so as you can see pinch there pinch there that's pretty much my top half done so we dived into putting on the bottom light strip um one thing to add here because you don't really see me do this in the video but i always try to position where I'm going to put the light strip where before it's actually stuck down on the TV so it just makes sure that you're not left with a big overlap when you're done or you find yourself a bit too short at the end and that is pretty much it so for me it was just to plug in all the power leads and let's see what this looks like on and we're done um, this is me kind of playing around my phone, just uh, adjusting some of the settings. There are a few more bits to do here, so once you've obviously got it set up, it will be in the default cream white color. That's the part where you need to install your Philips Hue Hub and pair it up with the light strips. If you want, I can make a video on that if it's helpful, but uh, I'm pretty sure it's all in the instructions of the Hue Guide itself. Um, I'll just bring up my phone screen so you can see what I'm kind of doing here to change different colors. So within the Hue app, you've got, um, I guess, a palette of colors. And uh, this is me just circling around showing all the different colors that you can obviously select. Um, adds a nice really backdrop to obviously what's on the TV display. Um, and this works really, really well if you've got other Hue lamps, lights, bulbs, spotlights, whatever else in the room as well. So I'm just going to pan it back to white. I think the lights in this room are white anyway. I think it looks kind of best there. There are some other presets um, other than the color palettes. We've got the whites, different shades of whites, and from, from ice white to warm whites. Um, there's also some other preset scenes within the Hue app. So those are those there. Um, there are some more colorful scenes, and these kind of allow for a few more variations of colors. And this is kind of where we'll see the difference in the, you know, the two light shifts that we've got on the top and bottom. So yeah, uh, this is just me continuing to have a play around with uh, the different colors that are obviously available in scenes. Um, I know there definitely are apps that you can, to, can download which will let you sync what's on your TV screen and what lights and colors you have behind the backdrop of the TV. Um, I'll maybe try and get one of those downloaded, set up and installed so I can show you guys how that looks. Um, Similarly, when I get some more lights set up in this room, we can explore things around like hue party and colors. Um, let me know, comment, like, add details of what you'd like to see. I mean, when I first got set up with you, I didn't really find much out there or available by ways of different setups that people had. So let's experiment. Let's uh, explore. Um, 
tell me what you guys have got or interesting things that you've done with your setup. Otherwise, thanks for watching. Like, comment, subscribe. Cheers. Bye.